Wow, it's a lovely day. I'm going off for a walk and do some photography with a new friend. His name is Billy. Lovely here. Nice and quiet today. Let's see what I can see here. Can I find anything? Oh, this looks interesting. Oh. I just saw something. Hello, squirrels. Where are you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's have a look what we can find here. Okay, well this is nice, I think I can do something here. Well you may wonder where my friend is, well he's actually right next to me, do you want to meet him? Okay, there you go, <laughs> this is Billy, the brand new carbon travel tripod by Three Liga Thing. For those who've been following this channel long enough would know that I'm a camera collector and I am also a bag collector especially, but many of you don't know that I'm also a tripod collector. Yes, I have quite a few in my house and my wife has been doing this to me every single day. <laughs> well, anyway, this is also the reason why I don't buy any tripod on the market because I have specific tastes and specific requirements for what I want to get. And it's also one of the reasons why I particularly like three legged thing stuff because they are different. Well, you see, most of the tripods on the market are simply boring. Uh, not only that they perform similarly, but they also look identical. <laughs> so the only thing that will kind of take my uh, fancy box for a as a collector is the look, right? It's the appearance of it. But I'm spending money, and this is not just a display model. You know, I do use these guys uh, when I'm out and about doing photography and, of course, filming as well. Uh, so it needs to perform to the highest standard to make sure that my expensive equipment doesn't get damaged. Well. Since I did my first three-legged thing tripod review about a year ago and uh, I have got a few more items from the chicken farm guys and yeah, I have to say that, you know, I have been becoming quite a little fan of them and uh, including their latest backpack, the Valkyrie uh, series from Mori Toxic. Uh, yeah, it's it just fantastic. And this is why I want to make today's video to show you why this little guy here, the Billy 2.0, is probably the best from them yet so my decision is i'm going to put my tripod right here so i've done some inspection so i think that i can get a shot with all these details here right here which is quite nice and i'm going to set my tripod here very low down get an up down angle like this that would be quite nice but i want to clear some of the rubbish perhaps and uh, just see what I can do to enhance it without having to Photoshop. Guys, remember, photography is not just about Photoshopping. If you don't like something, try to make sure that it's perfect before you click that shutter button. But I guess this may work. Well, let's let's give it a go. Okay, right, I think I'm gonna reverse the camera here. So what I'm gonna do is to uh, turn the uh, center column upside down. Very easy, very easy. So just unlock it, detach the D-ring at the bottom, simply turn it upside down like this, and there you go. Very simple. And now reattach the uh, D-ring, and there you go. And then you just have to adjust the height to your desired position, and you can get it working. Right, so I think, I'm gonna start with this first, this height. I don't know how, how well it looks and I can drop it further if I want to, so this is okay. Nice and sturdy, nice and sturdy, that's good. Now let's get the camera out. Well, I have to say that the uh, the ground is a bit damp, <laughs> and, uh, but 
there's no problem with this bag here because the material is made to resist a little bit of a moisture not heavy rain if you haven't seen that bag with you the link is up here somewhere no this way or that way i can't remember <laughs> anyway and uh so here we go let's uh, attach the camera to see what the angle looks like all right no problem at all marvelous look at that another good thing about having a tilty flippy screen is that you can do something like this turn the camera upside down <laughs> let's see what i'm seeing here well remember what i said about clearing the rubbish you can clearly see you can clearly see that there's something here blocking the screen is this is this leaf here so i'm gonna have to uh, clear it out clear it out so it's not out of the way yep look at that it's now good so now i just have to adjust the composition and uh, and other things to make sure that it works okay now let's try a slightly different angle and uh, i think this should work pretty well as well looks pretty good yeah i think i think it, i think this will work so let me just check looks good ah one thing i need to put a pillar polarizer <laughs> Oh yes, look at that, that difference is dramatic. ISO 200, F8, 1 15th of a second. I uh, deliberately underexposed the shot a little bit because it's got a quite dark foreground and quite a big contrast there. So I don't have a grad filter here. So I only, all I use is the, uh, the, the polarizers to darken the foreground a little bit because of the reflection. You know, I can just, because of, how polarizer works you know it, i can just at that angle at the moment so i can get a little bit at the front a little bit darker so just to accentuate the pieces of woods here in front of me and to basically give a little bit of a separation between the bright the bright uh, background to the dark foreground and this would give the shot just a little bit of a punch So if you're on the market looking for a new tripod, two things comes to mind. Even though I said about colors is my priorities or one of them at least, but to any photographers or any creative videos or not, performance and stability, it has to be on top of a priority because you know, you are getting a support for your camera gear at the end of the day. So yeah, you got to make sure that everything on top of it is safely, securely, in place it doesn't fall down doesn't wobble anywhere because it has to be rock steady and this is something that i really quite like three-legged thing and you don't have to trust me you know you can just go google around to see what other people say about three-legged thing tripods um, the low capacity of any of their products is simply over the top <laughs> that's in my case even this guy's here this is the billy 2.0 and it has a low capacity of 18 kilogram well this is insane for a carbon travel tripod in mean, apart from gizzo you know which is a tripod that costs about five times more than this guy uh, you know i'm not going to consider that as a comparison because you know the, the cost per kilogram is, is different, definitely on another level but just looking at you know like for lights you know anything on the similar price range you'll find that this is definitely one of the highest payload capacity you can get on the market and what does that translate ultra steady for anything and also you know having that high capacity means that you can use the d-ring at the bottom to hold another back to increase the, the stability further just in case you've got these really heavy wind situations that your camera might wobble a little bit so you can actually hang something quite heavy underneath without having to worry about damaging the tripod because it has that gap that you can you can play around with billy is part of the updated punk family within the three legger things catalog well within this family there are four different tripods two aluminiums and two carbon. Billy is part of the carbon one here. So the legs is constructed with eight layers of pure Japanese carbon tubes and the metals are magnesium alloy. Well, why is that important? Because think about all the uh, top end professional cameras uh, that you can see on the market right now are constructed with magnesium alloys. So that can only mean one thing, strength. One of the most annoying things about any travel tripod is the height. Well, I'm 173 centimeters, so I'm not particularly tall or short, but most of the travel tripods out there are usually this height when fully extended. So that means I will have to 
<laughs> bend down quite a lot and I don't like that. So I'm glad to see Billy is very, very tall. So once it's fully extended, I'm going to show you now. It goes all the way up to 166 centimeters. As you can see that now I rested my E1 Mark III up here and it's already above my eye level. So I have a little bit of a room to play with. So let's say if my trouble is on a slightly slopey ground, so I have to like shorten one of the legs to get the uh, the balance and I still have a little bit of room to play with. So this is fantastic and even more so for filming. So this is good. This is really, really good. I like the height. And when it's fully collapsed, it still go to very compact and manageable size of 45.7 centimeters, which is fantastic. Other improvements over the original Billy is the leg lock. Well, instead of the rock face from Fantastic Four, we now have the trendy Spider-Man. <laughs> Apparently it works in the wet too because it's more grippy. <laughs> and, and another thing that they adopted from the Pro range is the removable legs. Well, why would you want to remove the legs from a tripod in the first place? Well, I found it to be extremely useful because you can use the uh, actual tripod itself as a tabletop tripod. Yeah, you can't rest the huge thing on the table. If you want to use that, let's say for streaming purposes, which is what I do for Ray, um, you can buy the optional Vans footwear from Three Liga Thing. So you can simply remove all the long legs here and attach the little legs there. So you can make it quite a compact solution for your home setup, if you wish. Um, but what about the legs? Well, once you remove them, you can actually use it as a monopod. And now you have three individual monopods that you can uh, you can use if you've got a few friends uh, for instance to hike with you uh, so each one have a lovely little carbon pole one interesting thing that three legged thing has done to billy 2.0 is the weight of the leg lock not just about the look i mentioned earlier but it's the weight and you may wonder you know it's a travel tripod it has to be as light as possible right uh yes and no but remember, I talk about stability has to be on top of your priority list. Well, this is it. Having a heavier leg lock, it actually transforms into a lower of center of gravity for the entire system. And it means more stable. And this is really the first time I've seen anyone done this to a tripod design because uh, most of them would just think that, oh yeah, let's make it as light as possible or as heavy as possible. You know, it can go either way, depending on what sort of application it is. But this is cool. You know, I would like to see more tripod design this way to make sure that it function as it should. Well, one last thing about the Billy 2.0 is the introduction of this little nipple here. It makes it 2021. Not only is it for babies, but also for grown-ups. As it has a quarter-inch mount thread here, then it means that you can mount anything to it, like mics, likes and monitors, whatnot, everything. So it's very functional little nipple here. But that's not it. Each of the punk family member comes with a new head, and this is the brand new airhead Neo 2.0, straight from the Matrix movie. And just like Neo in the movie, it's now more grown-up, more mature, more refined and yet just as powerful. The only thing I'm not so sure about is that whether it can dodge any bullets. So there you go. If you're on the market looking for a brand new travel tripod, the latest Billy 2.0 has to be one to consider. It is tall, very tall indeed, and very compact at the same time. Colorful and very, very strong and very British. <laughs> There isn't really much I don't like about it because it's genuinely a very well-performing tripod, which is the most important thing when you're buying a support like this. That until the next updated version of this Billy or another colorful tripod comes along. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and give me a thumb if you do and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking, and of course, Olympus. Peace. Yes! Oh yes, yes, yes. Done, 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 done. Bum, 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 bum. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercat! Oh. It's important to put polarizers on doing shots like this and um, because it will dramatically improve your shot. I keep telling people about the importance of these guys and uh, yeah, you'll see a video about this later. <laughs> Really, you know, like if you're doing landscapes, uh, especially videos, filters is your best buddy, you know, to improve image quality because uh, there are a lot of things that you simply can't uh, 
uh, achieve in post you know no, no matter how good your photoshop skills is like reflections in the water you know reflections on the actual plantations itself there's nowhere to get rid of them you know like you can't just adjust uh saturations and contrast because these are reflections you can't get rid of them the only way to do it is to use a polarizer yeah this will really change everything you do well i must say that i have becoming of a fan of three legged thing and uh since I reviewed the first travel tripod last year, the Ray that I really enjoy using. Uh, but this is going to be my new travel tripod now. And uh, it is lighter, it is more compact and slightly taller, which is good. And, uh, but for those who don't know that this is also slightly cheaper too, so which is a good thing. Um, yeah, I really enjoy using the, uh, the, the tripod. And also their new bag, the Mole Toxic Valkyrie is yeah, kind of my favorite backpack lately and I've been using it a lot going around everywhere because it holds my laptop, I can do location shoot and I can process them at the same time, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just becoming a little fan of them. <laughs> and uh, just don't tell my wife that I got all this gear because uh, she will definitely kill me for that. And uh, But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm definitely going to do more of this kind of like a travel type thing and uh, uh, when I whenever I have some me time so I can do stuff on my own um, yeah if you do let me let me know and <laughs> I'll definitely try my best to accommodate that request because it is hard when you have kids and things like that when they have to go to school and they have other like uh, extra curriculums you know as you can imagine just so many different things you know uh, that's happening especially you know with uh, with uh, without lockdown these days just getting a little bit tougher to really do things on my own uh, as uh, you know as you probably noticed that Tracy hasn't been shooting with me for a long long time now and she's got a job and she's now not really shooting with me so I'm just really on my own and uh, so I have to do a lot more work to produce every videos and you know you know me i'm i can't settle with simple edit you know i like to do a little bit more angles i like to do more b-rolls and uh, those also take a lot of time to produce as well but anyway it's still my passion and i still like to create contents for you guys to watch and i uh, hope that it's in inspiring and hopefully also entertainment as well um, but anyway i'll speak to you guys all very soon and uh, i'll see you next time bye for now